Hey y'all, welcome back. My name is Tara if you're new here and I'm so glad that you found your way to my channel. Um, today I'm gonna be doing three easy dinner recipes that you can make super quick and super easy with very minimal prep work um, that I think you guys will really like, or I hope that you will. So, and without further ado, let's hop on right into the recipes. All right, so I have some water boiling here. I have um, one and a half cups of rice about to go in, um, and I'm gonna add this. It's gonna be part of like the inside of the enchiladas. Um, so I have the water boiling, I'm about to put those in, and then I am just about to um, brown my ground chicken with one packet of taco seasoning. So there we go. one cup of fat free cheddar once your meat is fully cooked you're gonna add that in and then you are gonna stir in to melt the cheese into the mixture now that the cheese is all stirred in we are going to add our rice so that is what I'm gonna do next all right, so I'm just gonna add the rice to our mixture And I still have my eye on low. And if you want to cut points down, you can really do less rice. Um, I think the rice gives you more of like a full filling with each enchilada. Um, but you could definitely, you know, even just do one cup of rice and it would knock down on your points. All right, so this is the mix. So it looks like a lot of rice, but in the, because you can't really see the chicken. Um, but rice and cheese and meat and y'all, it's so good. So I'm just gonna move this mixture into my wraps and the wraps I'm gonna be using are the Extreme Wellness Wraps. One smart point per wrap, truly can't beat that. And then I have my oven preheated to 350. So I'm gonna roll up, sorry, kinda yawned there. I'm, I'm gonna roll up the um, enchiladas in here and then I will check back in with you guys. Okay, so not really sure why my audio completely messed up on this clip, but um, here you can see it's not the most beautiful thing, but that's because I didn't measure properly the first time, so I had to take some of them out um, to redo them. Um, so then I just put whatever the mixture was left on top, and then you just take literally one bottle of Taco Bell mild sauce and spread it on top, and the bottle on top was perfect um, amount and then you are going to put it into your oven on 350 and we did it for 20 minutes and that was absolutely perfect all right y'all this is it fresh out of the oven and it looks amazing i'm gonna let it cool for a minute and then i'm gonna plate it and show you guys um <clears throat> and i also while this was cooking i made some um i just heated up some refried beans so i'm gonna serve those on the side all right y'all it is done and plated two for only six smart points and then my uh, refried beans are zero and then my sour cream is one i like to put sour cream on my refried beans but guys you can have two of these for six points or you can have three for nine points so so good they are so filling and i can't wait to eat so that concludes one night of dinner my whole plate being seven smart points So for this
this recipe, I ended up making two pizza grilled cheeses for myself. Um, I did the Sara Lee bread and I measured out the craft fat for each other. Um, you can do up to 84 grams for only one smart point. So I measured that out and then separated it amongst the two. Um, and then for the pepperonis, um, I didn't get turkey pepperonis because my husband really likes just the regular. Um, so we got regular and I could do three and a half um, on each sandwich, so seven total. And that left me at two smart points for those. And then I'm just greasing my pan with some olive oil cooking spray. And I'm going to let it sit on each side for about two minutes. And then after that, you'll just flip it over. And I'm cooking on a little bit less than medium heat just because, you know, with the Sara Lee bread, it definitely is a thinner bread and then you can just look at that golden goodness on top <laughs> and this is the ending product and it's so good i served it with um, half a cup of pizza sauce on the side and for this whole meal two sandwiches and the pizza sauce 10 smart points guys Okay, so for the meatballs, you are literally just going to take a bag of the Great Value Turkey Meatballs and pour them all in a dish. Um, and then you are going to take the G. Hughes Teriyaki Marmalade and you're going to want to make sure that you shake the bottle up to make sure all those flavors combine in the bottle. And you'll see me do a little shake and a little shimmy in a sec. <laughs> And then um, you're going to pour that whole, there it is, <laughs> and then you're going to pour that whole, whole entire bottle on top, and then you are going to set your oven to 350 and let them cook for 15 minutes, pull them out, toss them all around so that the bottom ones get brought to the top, and cook for another 15 so now I'm cooking the rice and I'm using my OG olive oil cooking spray and you're just going to cook the rice aroni as directed. The only substitute is I did not use butter because ain't nobody got time for all of those points. Um, so I didn't use butter. I just subbed my olive oil cooking spray instead. Um, so here I'm just um, pouring in the water. And it's two and a half cups. And the seasoning. There's the other half cup. And then you're just going to stir it around and you are going to put the lid on and um, you're going to do 15 minutes and you are going to drop the heat. So you're going to take the heat from medium to low and the rice aroni recipe y'all can really just find on the box. But I just wanted to show you all that too. So then I'm going to set my little timer on my microwave and shaboom. And then I'm checking on my meatballs here. The audio messed up, but I was telling y'all that I was going to pull it out for another 15. And then my rice aroni, um, I took the cover off and I uh, stirred it around. And then I just put the lid back on. Oh, well, I'm doing that now. Oh, gosh. Lord help us. <laughs> so... Um, so I'm stirring it around a little bit and then I put the lid back on and take it off of the heat completely and then your rice will just be ready whenever your meatballs are so that is that um, and then this is what they look like after so super yummy and delicious and I'll put all the, um, the actual recipe in the bio so now I'm going to show you guys my plate and it's 11 smart points for one third of the rice and six of those delicious meatballs all right, and that is a wrap on the three Weight Watcher recipes that I truly love and that are quick, easy, and simple. So if you like this kind of video with multiple recipes and one showing multiple dinners just in one video, please remember to like this video and comment. And if you would subscribe to my channel, it would mean the absolute world to me and I would be so happy for you to join my little YouTube family. So I hope you guys loved this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Life is a winding road, no telling where it